Hickok 45 here with one of my very favorite rifles, the Browning 1886, remake of the Winchester 1886. And since John Browning invented it, it's appropriate that Browning would release it back in 1986 when I bought this one. So I've had it 31 years now, do the math. So this firearm has been a friend of mine for quite a while now, 31 years. Still, it would have to be one of the last firearms I let go. It's just a beauty if you've ever held or fired an 1886. Hard to beat, hard to beat. So we're gonna do a little uh, range two action with it. Yeah, we uh, kind of changed our nomenclature there. We were just doing whenever bring a gun out second time, we call it chapter two and everything. Then we realized here recently, hey, I'd like to shoot this over here in a video. Then also on the main range maybe, which we've already done. And so we, we kind of put ourselves in a box calling everything a chapter two whenever we bring out a firearm for the second time. So this is really range two, it's a different kind of shooting. And so we were kind of limiting the things we could do. Uh, so anyway, now this is range two over here. So if you see that on the video, we're over here. All right, and uh, chapter two is gonna be on the, the main range. So let's do a little range two with it, a little range two missing. Okay, all right, I gotta get a good stance now. This heavy old thing. I've got it fully loaded except for the chamber. I'm firing some big old, uh, I think they're trophy bonded federal. Let's see, <laughs> what are they called since I brought it up? Yeah, trophy bonded bear claw. Serious 4570 rounds. <laughs> okay, so let's take a couple shots. Make me go slow now. Even if I'm here all afternoon, I don't want to get into a long string of missing. If I can help it. Let's start on the red plate over there. Get a good footing. All right, I got one hit, so I'm going home. I did raise the rear sight. I realized that uh, it just needed to be done. I don't know why after uh, 30 years I figured that out. <laughs> All right, we'll just start right below there on the right. Dig up some dirt right there. Right. That felt good. <sighs> felt good. Oh, that didn't. <laughs> that did. <laughs> this rifle, did I tell you it's a sweet rifle? Very, very sweet. The 1886, sometimes considered the uh, ultimate lever gun by many people. Maybe me. All oh, right. I'll take that. Y'all are doing a good job of uh, slowing me down making me take my time, not get in a hurry, not fire it semi-auto. So far, so good. All right. Oh man. Of course, the real trick is not pulling the trigger too soon. So you know you're on the target. Okay. Now we've got a couple small ones.
<laughs> I'm proud of myself. I almost pulled the trigger too soon. I guess I uh, better not pull it too soon there. There's no ammo in. Okay. Put some more of these torpedoes in. Pull them right out of my ammo carrier, my cargo pocket. This thing loads like butter. I've said that before. It's just uh, really sweet. Holds, uh, I believe, eight rounds in a magazine. So, eight plus one. How's that for a, a firearm? Eight, nine rounds of 4570 at your disposal. And a really nice rifle. Don't tell the anti gunners about it. Okay. I guess I got her filled up. All right, too bad I didn't get that last little one before I quit or ran out. <sighs> Hopefully I didn't lose my concentration there talking to you all. I didn't so good y'all didn't distract me thank you all right see if I can pick that two liter off the top of that cinder block <laughs> I don't know what I hit but the two liter got broken up <laughs> I'll put it all on the cinder block I like this idea lately while I've just been, I just want to see some cinder smoke and then move on and uh, we'll see how long that block lasts through how many uh, videos over here all right all right it's got a little center I don't know that I can hit it with this thing uh, I don't know if I uh, can see well enough to do that but I'll try Or if I'm confident enough about, you know, even where exactly the hold is part of it. And then if I even know exactly where to hold, can I actually see that clearly enough? <laughs> well, at least I'm hitting the whole thing somewhere. <laughs> 4570 knocks it around. Before we finish, well, let's take these guys out. Well, let's put one on the gong first. You know, he just needs a hit. He feels neglected sometimes. Yeah. Even though he's not a tough shot. Let's hit him again. <laughs> well, I still got another one. Okay. Let's, uh, we know what I, well, let's put it on the gong. There now we need some more ammo. I thought I was lower than that. I was gonna wait till uh to shoot these two liters here close till I had more ammo in here. Although it might not need much. Because these two liters here close are not being very smart. There uh there's one hiding behind the other one there. He must not realize I have a 4570. Watch this. This might get them both with one shot. Yeah, see? You better rethink that one, buddy. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't thinking there. <laughs> Shaking the whole stand. Hey, let's go back to the red one up there. Boom. Got him on the last shot. Oh, man. I can't tell you how pleased I am that... Uh, uh, not to pat myself on the back because I had some misses, but uh, I, I'm, I'm, I feel good about the way uh, you know it performed over there. Okay, let's put it that way. Iron sights, uh, old guy eyes, uh, big old 4570s. It's just so fun to have a firearm that you kind of know where it hits, and you know at a little bit of distance, not not anything uh, you know incredible or anything, but. Uh, just just so much fun to have a rifle. I, I remember, I don't remember what the firearm was, 
uh, pontificating about this so about a, six months or a year ago about the joys of owning a, a really nice firearm that you really like. It even has historical significance maybe. This one is a replica but still sign uh, historical significance. And a firearm you just thoroughly enjoy and one of your very favorites and it shoots well and you can hit just about anything you want to hit with it. So how does it get any better than that? Huh? You shooters, tell me. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about if you're a shooter. Uh, even if you're a troll who just wandered in today, uh, hopefully you'll get into shooting sometime because there's really no future in just trolling videos. Uh, it doesn't pay very well, really, and you know, you, you'll get satisfaction out of it for a little while, but once you turn 13, it just won't be as much fun, uh, and people will just make more fun of you. So actually take up the hobby, think about, uh, you know, studying some more and uh, maybe obtain a firearm when you're old enough and, and actually uh, learn about the joys of, of doing this because it's really fun. There's so many different sorts of firearms that, that are fun, as you know, if you've seen a lot of our videos and, uh, and other people's. Uh, just so cool. This, this rifle, I, I could slobber over it for another 10 minutes uh, and bore you to death. But, you know, that full-length magazine, the octagonal barrel, the ultimate lever action, uh, John Browning designed it. Uh, you know, it just doesn't get a lot, lot better. So glad you rode here with me in my euphoria, okay? Enjoying one of my favorite rifles. Life is good.